Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. We are working on the skull saw, <laughs> finally getting around to this. This is a, a project I've been wanting to make for a while. And I bought this, it didn't have the table, it didn't have the struts, it doesn't have the flywheel, and there's a few other things that I want to do with it. But in this video, we're going to be restoring the table, and I'll talk about where I got that, uh, as well as building the pedals and struts for this. And hopefully in the next video, we'll be building the flywheel and getting this beast up and running so that we can do some scroll saw work here in the shop. So come around, we're gonna have some fun. I'm really looking forward to this. So here we go, we have a scroll saw, and I introduced this to you a while ago, and that was a long time ago. I'll leave a link to that video down below, and I'm basically asking questions about it and seeing if anyone had any information on the saw. And I wanted to do some restoration on this, and I finally got in touch with Ed, who is a collector of this. He works with the Midwest Tool Collectors, and he collects a lot of foot-powered tools. And he had one that was completely restored and finished. And on top of that, he said, you know what? I also have an extra table. And this is the hard thing that I was really not knowing exactly how I was gonna get, because there's this ball on the bottom that allows you to adjust the angle. And so he had an extra one he was willing to sell me, on top of that, he had a friend who can do casting, and so he was able to pattern one of his pedal struts and actually cast the actual piece. So he got me a set of these, and so we'll be able to work on that. Now, one thing I haven't been able to find is the flywheel. Those are almost impossible to find. So we're gonna be making one of those out of wood, and then we're also gonna be making the pedals themselves and the linkage from the pedal to the flywheel, and we'll be doing a bunch of that. But in this video, we're gonna do some of the prep work on this, as well as get this table cleaned up and ready for some work. And yeah, we're gonna have some fun. I'm looking forward to getting this beast up and running. Let's dive in. Now that we've cleaned off the epoxy and some of the paint and other things that are on here, things that will stop the rust remover from getting to the metal itself, we're actually going to start dipping this. Now, normally I would just put it in some vinegar and work with that. And vinegar works really well, but it has a, it kind of blackens the steel and it's just not perfect. It's dirt cheap, but it's not perfect. So I've been trying a bunch of other things and one I've been really liking is Metal Rescue. Um, I'll leave a link to it down below. And so this is what I'm gonna be using for most of the restoration on this. Um, and this particular one is a concentrate, so this is a gallon's worth of fluid, so it becomes easier to ship. And now it's time to move on to the pedals. Ed was gracious enough to give me some patterns of his. He was laid, able to lay them out, sketch out exactly what he had, and send those down to me. And so I can make a replica of what was originally there. Originally they would have been made out of something like a birch, uh, but I don't have that on hand. I do have a lot of oak on hand, so we're going to be making the pedals and struts out of oak. This is a block that's about an inch and a half thick or so, and about three inches wide. We're going to be trimming it down for a little bit. But let's actually dive into making some pedals for this thing. Lots of fun.
Now that the pedal is constructed, we can start working on the connector strut. This connects the back of the pedal to the flywheel. So as the flywheel turns around, that drives the pedal up and down. Or in this case, as the pedal goes up and down, the flywheel turns round and round. This is a uh, kind of a delicate piece. And again, the pattern was provided by Ed. And thank you for that. We're going to be drawing this out, cutting it, and shaping it. And there's a lot of shaping work to be done on this. And hopefully have a functioning pedal when this is done. So let's dive in. Hey, it's all good. I'm a man, but I can change if I have to, I guess. So there you have it. I really want to say a huge, huge thank you to Ed for supplying the table and the casework on the pedals. You have done an amazing job on that. Uh, if you want to see some of Ed's stuff down below, I'll leave a link to his site. And he has, he has an amazing collection of tools. I'm looking forward to shaking hands with him again. We're going to be at the Peach Meet down in Georgia. Uh, that is the 1st and 2nd, I believe, of February. So I'm looking forward to coming to that. If any of you are going to be at that meet, I'm looking forward to seeing you out there. It's going to be kind of the fun season opener two day of hand tools everywhere. I'll leave a link to that down below. So that's about it for right now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Kind of. <laughs>